are you doing in my swamp? Everybody, this is Overboy, and I'm going to be doing my ranking for all ten movies of Disney Animation Studios' revival era. Now, um, these are the movies from 2009 to 2019 um, that were released through that time period that were uh, critical and commercial successes and stuff. And this is kind of a lot like the modern day renaissance era in a lot of ways um, and everything uh, but I and I know some people say that Disney is still in their revival era because none of their stuff has really not at least done good with critics at least and stuff but I, I do feel like we are shifting into a new dark age for Disney Animation Studios so pretty much everything that has came out since Frozen 2 I'm counting as a new dark age movie and that'll be next week's list um, and everything so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get going on this one so coming in at number 10 is Ralph Breaks the Internet this is actually one of my least favorite Disney Animation Studios movies just in general I was just really really disappointed with this movie I love Wreck-It Ralph quite a bit and everything you'll see that one much higher on this list but this one is just not very good it is not a very good sequel it contradicts a lot of the stuff it was introduced in the first movie, a lot of the lore and stuff, and they kind of just throw it out the window and stuff, and a lot of the rules of this world are broken in this movie, so I, I'm not very big on this one, um, and everything, the, the, a lot of the humor and st internet humor and stuff that they have in this movie was dated by the time the movie even came out, uh, and the, the nostalgia baiting with all the Disney princesses and stuff was okay, it wasn't anything special. This movie could have been so much better than it was. Um, but I, I, I do think this movie is okay, but it's just not one of my most favorites. So, Ralph Breaks the Internet is number 10, and number 9 is... Big Hero 6. Now this is one of those movies that I know a lot of people say is very underrated because it was overshadowed by Frozen. And uh, I could get that. It is very overshadowed by Frozen, and it also came out like right before Zootopia, so it was kind of wedged between two of the biggest movies of this era. So I, I definitely do understand why people didn't like this one as, or didn't give this one as much credit and stuff. But that being said, I, I also don't feel like it's one of Disney's best. It borrows a lot from other animated movies like The Iron Giant and a lot of other movies that I felt like it was really similar to, the kind of The Incredibles and a bunch of different things. It wasn't anything super new. The, the twist villain was okay with Callahan. I think he was a pretty cool villain, had decent motivations and stuff. Don't really think he's fully a bad guy. But um, I, I did like that, though, I, and I thought Baymax is an adorable character. Couldn't help but love him and stuff, but... Big Hero 6, it's not one of those movies that I'm a huge, huge fan of, but I think it's okay. So it's number 9, and number 8 is... Frozen 2. Now, this is a decent sequel. It's not as good as the first Frozen movie, for sure. That one's way, way higher on this list, but... Um, I do enjoy this one quite a bit. I think it's a pretty solid sequel. The songs are pretty good in here. Not as good as the ones from the first movie, but they still got some good ones. Um, Anna and Elsa are still really lovable characters and stuff. I love the, their relationship in this movie and how, how things go throughout it and everything. Olaf is still a really lovable sidekick. Kristoff is, is great too. I do wish that we would have got more with him though. That's probably my biggest complaint is... I wish I would have done more with Kristoff and stuff and had more Kristoff and Anna moments. But aside from that, I, I really enjoyed this one. And I think it's a pretty decent sequel and everything. It, it's not quite as good as the first one, but it's still a pretty solid movie and everything. And from this one up are all movies that I really love. Like the, the Revival era is a lot like the Renaissance era where pretty much most of the movies I really love. There's only like maybe a couple of them that I wouldn't say are, are movies that I just absolutely love. And everything, but even those, uh, I think, except for Ralph Breaks Internet, are pretty good. I, I think Big Hero Six is still a really good movie, and everything. But I, I think that everything above that one and this one are even better. So, 
Um, but yeah, Frozen 2 is number 8, and number 7 is... Winnie the Pooh. I absolutely love this movie, and it was really hard to put it this low, but I decided to do it because it is such a short movie. It's only an hour and three minutes, so it's barely even a movie and everything, but I, I do really love this one. Uh, Pooh and the gang are just all really lovable characters that you can't help but love and everything, and there's so many fun moments in here, especially the scene when they're stuck in the, the hole in the ground and stuff when they're trying to catch the Baxen and and they're trying to get Piglet to tie a knot on this rope and everything and it has this whole little joke sequence so it's just really hilarious humor and everything and it's just a really heartwarming little tale and stuff if you are a fan of Winnie the Pooh you're gonna love this movie and everything and it's also the last traditional animated movie that Disney Animation Studios has done up to this point and everything which is really sad because I, I would love to see more traditional animation and hopefully we will be getting that here pretty soon and everything but Winnie the Pooh I think is is a pretty good movie and everything so it's number seven and number six is Zootopia I really enjoy this movie too I think it's really a fun time and I love Judy Hopps and uh uh Nick Wilde, I think they're both really likable main characters and stuff. Their their dynamic is really well written and stuff, and their friendship is really well done and everything. I, I really enjoyed that. And I, I think the the social commentary that this movie has is pretty good too. It's kind of reminiscent of movies like The Land Before Time that kind of had that too and everything. I thought that was kind of cool um, and everything. And it fit fit the 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 tone really well and this movie is is pretty good like I said that the animation is pretty gorgeous in here um, and it's got some great humorous moments and a lot of heart and everything and I absolutely love the stuff with the sloths at the DMV just absolutely hilarious stuff and everything but it, it has some really good moments too and it, it's a really good movie so Zootopia is number six and number five is Tangled. Um, this movie is really, really great. Um, it's a really beautiful animated movie with a wonderful princess. She's one of my favorite Disney princesses. In fact, when this movie came out, I would say she was just an absolute lovable character. And I, I, I fell in love with Rapunzel. Not like literally, but like as a, I became obsessed with her because she was a really cool character. And, and uh, Flynn Rider is really great too and everything I love the music in here especially I Saw the Light which was Disney's last great love song which this is also the last one with a traditional villain and really the characters having love interests except for Anna and Kristoff in the Frozen movies um, and everything but I, I love this movie and I, I think that, that Tangled is a really underrated one it doesn't get talked about as much and everything because of Frozen and Moana, but this one and uh, uh, the Princess and the Frog are two of the ones that I feel like were a little bit underrated out of the the traditional princess type storytelling movies from this era and everything. Uh, I feel like both of those movies are kind of underrated, and this one is is kind of underrated in and of itself, but it does have a big fan base too. So uh, Tangled is number five, and number four is. Wreck-It Ralph. Now, if Ralph Breaks the Internet didn't exist, I probably would have this a little bit higher, but that movie has taken down my fandom of this movie a little bit, because, which is really sad, because I really love this movie. When I first saw it, I was, like, obsessed with it. Like, as a Disney fan, I was like, this is awesome. This is a great story. Awesome characters that I absolutely love. I want more. I want more. And then we get Ralph Breaks the Internet and totally just ruins the whole franchise for me. Um, this movie is just a lot of fun though and I still do enjoy it and everything just not as much as I did as, uh, when it first came out um, I will say that it, it, the arcade games and stuff was pretty cool um, I was familiar with some of the characters because I've played arcade games a lot I'm not much of a gamer so the, the whole gaming stuff just does not really do a lot for me and everything and I think that that's another reason why this isn't just one of those movies that I 
love it as much as a lot of people do and everything and I do feel like there are three other ones from this era that are better but uh, Wreck-It Ralph is still a pretty good movie and I love the relationship between Ralph and Penelope they're great and King Candy was a really good villain he's one of the best twist villains and everything and being turbo and stuff that that was pretty cool so all in all Wreck-It Ralph is a good time and everything but it, it's definitely not my my most favorite from this era but it's not my least favorite either and everything but it is sad that the, this movie used to be one of my most favorites and everything but it, it's kind of dropped a little bit because of its sequel but yeah Racket Ralph is number four and number three is The Princess and the Frog. I really love this movie. Um, it's one that I've loved ever since I saw it in the theater. I saw it in the theater and absolutely loved it and thought Tiana was a, an amazing princess, a very, very lovable character and everything. And I, I was really looking forward to to uh, Disney's stuff after this, hoping that they would bring back traditional animation. But this is the one movie from this era that underperformed aside, this one and Winnie the Pooh both underperformed because they were traditional animated movies instead of computer animated movies is what Disney thinks. So we haven't had one since 2011, which really sucks. I, I hope we get one here pretty soon, though. I, I know that they've been talking about it, so hopefully we do. But th this movie has beautiful animation, uh, wonderful songs by Randy Newman. I, I like all the songs in here, especially Almost There. That song is just so catchy, but um, When I'm Human, uh, the... Evening Star song, uh, Dreams Come True in New Orleans. All, there's so many great songs throughout this movie, and uh, it's just really, really fun time and everything. And it's a fun little, little adventure through the swamp type movie and everything. So, The Princess and the Frog is number three, and number two is Moana. I really love this movie. I, I think Moana is an absolutely lovable character. She's a great heroine and. Uh, one of the best Disney characters in recent years. I just absolutely love her. But Maui is, is one of my other absolute favorite like sidekick characters. He he is just absolutely great and lovable. And Dwayne Johnson, who I'm a huge huge fan of, I've always been a big fan of Dwayne Johnson, brings Maui to life perfectly and everything. I I can't picture anybody else playing him or doing his voice. So I'm really glad he's coming back from Moana too. And going to be playing him in the remake. I don't think that we need the remake, really. I don't even know if we really need Moana 2, but I'm glad that he's coming back, and I'm glad that uh, the actress who does the voice of Moana is coming back, too, because she's perfect and stuff, too, so I'm glad she's coming back for the second one. I don't know how to feel, like I said, I don't really know if I'm even looking forward to the remake, but I'm still going to give it a shot because of Dwayne Johnson. But this movie is a lot of fun, and I, I love the songs in here. Um, how Far I'll Go is... A really good I want song and I really like uh, uh, shiny it's a pretty fun song and everything but my favorite song in the whole movie is you're welcome by Maui it, it just absolutely catchy song and everything and plus like I said I'm just a big fan of the rock um, so yeah um, Moana is number two and my number one favorite movie of the Disney revival era is probably to nobody's surprise Frozen. Now this movie I absolutely love. It's been one of my favorites ever since it first came out. It was an instant classic to me. I absolutely love the, the characters in here, Anna, and especially yeah, yeah, especially Anna, and I loved Elsa quite a bit. Uh, Anna's my favorite, though, out of the two. Um, but I, I love both of them. Kristoff and Sven and Olaf are all lovable characters, too. Hans is a pretty decent villain he, he doesn't have he's not that threatening or anything but he's he's one of those villains that he, he, you love to hate because Anna is just such a sweet and lovable character and the way he did her was just so dirty and everything but I, I think that he's a memorable villain because of that and um, the songs in here are just absolutely amazing some of the best Disney songs in recent years especially Let It Go but I love do you want to build a snowman and for the first time in forever and fix her up or they're all really great songs and everything I think the animation is really gorgeous and Frozen is just an absolute masterpiece and it's one of my favorite Disney movies of all time 
and everything. And it'll be really high on my ranking in a couple weeks when I rank all 62 Disney Animation Studios movies. But I absolutely love this movie and everything. So, anyway, let me know in the comments what your favorite movies from this era are. If you don't want to do a ranking, just tell me your favorite and least favorite. But feel free to do a ranking, too, if you want to. I'd love to see your rankings. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And have a good day, everybody.